set up Smart Chrome and use the Dexcom Connect app. Can you remember, I previously left you at this screen here. So what we need to do now is go over to our smart device and open the Dexcom Connect app. Agree to the terms and conditions and pin in the app code, which is obviously this one here. Log in with the engineer's code. Sync with the panel. You. I'll ask you if you want to map the device type, just press yes. This is a pin sticking task that seems to serve no purpose, but what you need to do is select each one, select what type of device it is, so if it's a dog, be a dog contact, and just press no room. Wrong one. Motion sensor, no room. Front door. Contact sensor. No room, hallway, motion, oh, come on, motion, no room, living room, motion, no room, landing, motion, no room, back door, contact, and panic button is a BA button, no room, and Downstairs smoke alarm is a fire sensor. No room. Once they're all done, then just press confirm device types. I will congratulate you and ask you to start using the app. Log in and log in again with the engineer's code. So what we need to do is make sure we've got the latest software version. Do this by pressing menu and going into system details. This one is currently up to date. If it's not, it would ask you here to update the software. But it's because you want version 5 and it is version 5. So there's nothing to do here. So what you can do is Go back to your home screen, log out, and log back in, this time using the master code. User. <clears throat> I'll take you for the simple way of working the system then. The red button arms the system. Something not normal preventing the system from arming, that's because currently I have to panel it off, but if you haven't got it off, it should arm. Green disarms the system, and orange part arms the system, and then asks you what you want to use. Uh, woof, I have the evening arm for when I go to bed, woof woof when I've got the dog here. And uh, every time I'm too in use, it, but it still shows up. You have a calendar here which tells you uh, events in the past. Obviously, we'll just set the system up so there's no history. And rooms are for when you're adding cameras and things. You can do this by going to menu, uh, general settings, adding cameras, and you just have to put in the IP address for the cameras if you have an IP camera system. Best speaking to an engineer regarding that. And uh, the recipes there now is for using things like plug-in light adapters and things. I'll cover these in another video once I get hold of some. And finally, I'm still logging as the engineer for some reason. Yeah, let's see if I can get out of that. Do, do, do.
Now it's in as a user. Don't know what caused that. We'll be back in. Finally, then what you want to do then is set up other users for using the app run. To this then, you need to get the person to obviously download the app. And they'll be now asking for a connect code. Uh, so you're asking you to generate an app code from the system. Uh, don't generate it from the system. This causes endless problems. It can be done, but in every event I've been to, it's always created a problem. The best way to do it is to manage users. And just press add a user at the top. Give that person a name. Let's put wife. And a code. In this case. Press save. And if you go down there on the list, you tick use app. It then gives them a code. Use this code in the app. That's basically all there is to know about this app. It's easy enough to, to use. You can turn the person off as well and delete them if you wish. Uh, press home screen. It shows up anything that's happening in your timeline, like alarms going off here. If you get an alarm going off when you're out and about, you just press the green button twice to disarm and reset the system. And the red one to rearm it again. If you have any questions, do comment below. And please like and subscribe. Thank you.